Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on the strumming on page two. I think I've got a pretty good angle here. It allows you to see right and left hand. Um, first, let's review the chords. So we have the D, the G major seven, the E seven, and then the D. I would practice just playing those chords separately a bit, just round and round, uh, in order to try to get pretty quick at making those movements. And then later on we have the D to the G major 7 to the A7 to the D. Okay? So don't forget to do that because if you um, if you can change these quickly, then it doesn't matter how well you can strum. You're, you're going to have to interrupt the strum. In other words, you're going to have to slow down the strum um, and keep it imprecise in order to uh, deal with your left hand. So make sure the left hand is completely on board and that you can just go around and around on those chords. I'll give you a couple of things you can look at, which I may have mentioned last time uh, before we get into the strum. You have the D, the G major 7, the E7, and, with, and after the E7, we go back to the D. So you just want to slide that first finger from the E7 to slide that first finger back to the D. And when you're playing the A7 later on, when you go from the A7 back to the D, then we just slide the ring finger. A7, D, A7, D. And once again, when we're going from the E7 back to the D, you can't see it quite as clearly, but you'll slide that first finger. I see I got some bright light back there. Hopefully um, that's not interfering too much with the video. Okay. Sorry. I'm still not sure about that. Sorry, Siri uh, picked something, picked up something in my voice that made her want to answer me. Now on to the strum. Okay. So the strum is basically down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So we have down, down, up. On beat number three, we miss it, and we come on the re on the upstroke. So it's one, two, and miss, and four, and one, two, and miss, and four, and one, two, and miss, and four, and one, two, and miss, and four, and. Now you can vary that strum if you want in order to make it a little easier to get to the, to make the chord changes in the left hand. So I'll do it slow going, um, I'm just going to play the first line, the D, two measures of D, the G major 7, and then the E7. Okay, using that strum down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Here we go. Two, three, four, down. upstroke on the fourth beat it makes it you really have to move your left hand fast uh, in order to get between the changes so what you can do is you can modify the strum and still have the same effect it will work well with the song you can do a down down up up down 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 up up down okay so we're eliminating that upstroke on four 
and that gives us that extra time to switch chords. So that would sound like this, two, three, four. actually recommend doing it that way for starters um, you can practice the other strum just to know it because it's probably the most commonly used strum in popular music as far as you know playing rhythm guitar that's a very very commonly used strum pattern I'm gonna go ahead and play the entire sheet two before i do that let me back up looking at line two so if we use the strum starting at line two and we go down down up up down for that measure of d down down up up down and if we were to count that it's one two and and four strum again and I'm going to say the word miss and where I say the word miss that's where B3 is B3 seems to disappear it's there we're just missing the string on on um, on B3 so I'll do that strum again and when I say the word miss that's actually three but we're just not hitting the strings one two and miss and four doing the second line on page two you actually have to do the strum that way you don't really have an option because you have to pick that second fret of the um, G string that note that happens on the end of four so it's one two and miss and four entire page and I'll probably do it a couple of times just to give you a, uh, a play along one two three four I may have mentioned it last week when you after you've played what's on page two it does in fact go back to the top of the page and you play those top two lines again so you can actually play what's on page two and go back and play the top two lines again okay I'm gonna do that this time I'm gonna play all of page two go back and play the top two lines and I'm going to end on the D chord on the uh, third section of lines. One, two, three, four.
Let me give you a couple of options too, um, because tri uh, playing those chords can be a little tricky. When you're going from the G7 to the E7, you don't have to add the pinky. If you leave the pinky off, it's still an E7 chord. And that actually might be easier to get to. So you'd play the D chord, the G7, and then when you go to the E7, just play it as open, two, open, one, open, open. Open, two, open, one, open, open. And that becomes easier because prior to that, you're playing this, I see that bright light, um, this G major seven chord, okay? And so if you go from the G major seven to the E seven, you can see it's just those two, you keep those same two fingers and you go from here to the E7. So feel free to do that, and that might help you get through that passage a little quicker. Also to keep in mind with the D chord, the low E string is not in the D chord. So you either have to deaden it with your thumb or press it down on the second fret. Either way. Probably the trickiest part of the song is the second line where you play the D chord and then you go into that um, melodic run. One, two, and, and four, and one. Okay? So there's your strum. Um, your strum is basically down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. I know when I started the video, I said down, down, up, up, down, up. And you can do it that way. It just really makes it a little bit more difficult to uh, get the chords changed in the left hand. So since I kind of did this video on the fly, um, that's the way I would recommend doing it, using the down, down, up, up, down, okay? And not putting that final upstroke in on the end of four. Because as I said, you, that's the only way you can really play that second line where you go into that melodic run. I'm going to play that again, just line two, down, down, up, up, down, okay? So that's pretty tricky, so that's worth practicing, and I think I may have mentioned that last week. Down, down, up, up, down. Getting right into that. There's really no, no hesitation. One, two, and, and four, and one. One, two, and, and four, and one. Okay, I'm going to play all through it again, just as a play along, about here, one, two, three, four. second time I went back when I went back to the top when I did the repeat then I used the E7 where I'm leaving off the pinky and I think that's another uh, change that you could make that'll make it uh, easier to get through that 
So in order to get this up to some type of reasonable speed, obviously, then it's just a matter of practice. So we have the strum. I'm going to go ahead and play the strum just on the D chord and gradually speed it up um, so you can hear what that would sound like. is that the right hand just never stops going up and down. That's critical to getting the strum to sound proper. So this hand is always going up and down, it's just sometimes it's missing the strings. But if you watched me do that, you'll notice that the hand never stops and jerks. It's just... Okay, um, hopefully that helps. If it doesn't, let me know and we'll do some more on it. And um, I'll have another video forthcoming where we're actually starting to get into doing um, an arrangement of the song. There is more of the song to learn as far as um, chord changes, but because I figured you'd have plenty to practice there, I also wanted to work a little bit on actually playing an arrangement of the song. Okay, so let me know if that did any good and helped you with that strum. Bye-bye.